Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here. Uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing a utility from Cydia called M Quick Do. It's really awesome. All you have to do is open up Cydia and type in M Quick Do. Um, what the the problem is is that you have to pay seven dollars for it. It'll pop when you download it. Something will pop up saying that um get the trial because there is a 30-day trial or purchase or cancel if you keep on pressing cancel then it don't um you won't ever have to start the trial and you'll get the version but that pop-up will come up every time you launch it that's why just add this source http colon slash slash w uh no colon slash slash xlis dot com slash cydia slash youtube use dash YouTube and that will be the source you have to add um, obviously it's on the screen right now so just go to Cydia manage sources edit add and add that source and here it is guys um okay this is M quick do now it's not an app well it is an app and that's something that I have to show you here it is and let me explain to you what it does M quick do is pretty much very very simple um gesture settings for the springboard or for apps okay so this is different if i slide left say i want to short slide left to i could do anything if i short slide from the top left i could go back to home i could lock the device or take a screenshot say i do take a screenshot and now if um and then short side left I could change for apps it's different right now I'm in an app but if I backed out I'd be in my springboard and that's what this is up here so if I want to short slide left right here I can do um back to home and short slide left back to home really cool and it comes up on the top and let's do a short slide left now once we're in the springboard it took a screenshot so yeah that's that but here's the thing you guys might be saying but wait that's bad because it takes away SB settings not necessarily if you hold down and drag the whole entire thing will slide and if you look it's down here. If I press you, you see, oh, I switched that around. If I press down there, oh god, guys, I'm sorry. If I press down there, you'll see it lights up white. It's not going to be white for you. It'll start out as a yellow because, um, because I changed mine, and I'll tell you how to do that too. To change the color, um, you just simply go down to settings. Enable M Quick to trigger by status bar, by status bar, um, bar switch keyboard pops hide the height of it, the color, change everything. So I want the color changed. I just mess around with this. I like it to be white, so it's hardly noticeable. But now, since you have to have trigger by stand by status bar right there, turn that off, and so. What that's going to allow you to do is to still have SB settings, okay? And about page. Now, but let me show you something that I love this app for. Alright, say I'm in Safari, right guys? I'm searching up Safari. I'm on Google, whatever, looking up images of an icicle. And I, but I want to switch. I can set toggles down here when I... When I slide up, or whatever you want it to do, it is your app switcher. So you have to go into settings and say you want right um, slide to right, you change that to app switcher. Or you could make it do nothing. And so you set everything you want down here. And to do that, it ha the app has to be launched. And you just drag it down to the bottom. Okay, but I don't want to do that. I don't want Safari there. Okay. So that's that. And Safari is one of those apps that constantly run. So if I, I still got out of Safari, but as you can see, that's what's still on. So say I want Safari to run faster, 
I launched Safari again, so Safari's still here, but Safari's going at slow because my mobile iPod's on. I just do this, drag to the side, and let go. But, or, fast swipe, like that, it's quit. Now, that also gets your RAM higher on your iPod, and make Safari um, surfing much easier. So that is MQuick, you guys. It's a really good app. Um, I really recommend getting it. And as you see on short side left, I have take a screenshot, but I'm going to make that do nothing. Actually, I'm going to make that toggle active category muted. Nah, I'm going to make it do nothing. And as you see, short side uh, left is toggle active category muted. Um, I'll change that to that and watch what that's going to do. Say I go onto my app. I am on Pocket God and it has that annoying music in the background that's always constantly playing and you can't mute. But watch this. Just wait for it to load because some reason developers wanted to put a 10 second loading screen on their app which is... Alright, you hear that music? Short side left, it's muted. Now double tap. I could play music over Pocket God. And Pocket God is... So yeah, say I don't... I hate this song. I don't know why it's on my iPod. Say I have this song. Alright, it, it hid, that's cause, um, Pocket God has its own set of music. Mute it, double tap, play. It starts with I wanna close that, slide left again. Uh, Pocket God is still muted. This is the only app that does that for other apps. For some reason it goes back to being unmuted, but this one doesn't. And quit Pocket God, quit my music player, quit Safari. So yeah, that's it guys. That's M Quick Do for the iPod or iPhone. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I really suggest you check it out. Alright guys, have a nice day.